Hey guys, I hope everyone's well. It's Can Call Me Artist and in today's video I am going to review the Mosery sketchbook. I also include the process of me painting an eye just so you can see how it performs. But that's later on in the video. So I hope you enjoyed the beginning section of the unboxing but now I'm actually going to talk about the paper itself and the book overall. I'm going to speak about my first impressions while using it and then like my final thoughts and if I would buy it again and I do paint an eye um it's not the full process I'm planning to do a tutorial for that eye actually um in a separate video so stay tuned for that um but yeah i hope you enjoy watching that as well so they do give you a swatch sheet and i decided to swatch my white knight watercolor paints because those are the ones that i use all the time and i also swatched my van gogh ones on the other side but my initial thoughts were damn the paints just stay in the paper and they stay in one place and they don't move around and i was really scared to actually start painting it but um, I'm glad I swatched them first because it gave me an idea on how to work um, going forward. I found that the paper does not dry very quickly and it gives you a lot of time to work on which I really enjoy and it fits my style of painting um, because I really love having the skin be blended very well. I thought the colours won't blend as well as they did because the texture of the paper really scared me and it was very apparent but when it dried the paints kind of blended in together more and yeah the texture kind of got lighter which I was happy about. Um, I really like the texture of it to be honest. One thing I had to find myself adjusting to is the drying time. Of course, like if you want to add detail and dark bits, for example, like the eyelashes, pupils, or even add highlights afterwards, um, I had to wait a very long time for it to fully dry and for it to, to not smear. But I didn't mind. Um, I started working on other things so it's fine <laughs> but yeah the reason I enjoy this book a lot and I prefer it to most of the paper watercolor papers I use is because of the drying time and because it's elongated and yeah it gives me more freedom to paint and take my time mixing and add darker colors to kind of build up the values and they just melted together and blended very well together so I was really happy about that and also I decided to test out masking fluid um, on the paper and it worked fine I tried to use my finger but I was scared that it was going to tear when I used my finger so I decided to use my Tombow rubber and it worked fine there was no tears it didn't disrupt the layer I didn't find that that area kind of had a weird texture when painting and also I found that tape kind of peels off very 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 nicely off the paper but it does not leave a clean line like with other papers that I've used the paper doesn't usually like blend outside of the tape but this one did which I was really disappointed about but again it's not a big deal breaker for me because I'm so used to taping my paper down to board I found that the paper kind of didn't lay flat and because there was water on it it obviously started to bend a lot so far i've used alcohol markers watercolors and gouache on this paper and i love it so much like even with alcohol markers it blends so nicely together it does blend to the other side a little bit but it doesn't blend on the other paper um if you get what i mean but usually i don't use the both sides of the paper so it's fine with me It was really expensive but 
I just enjoy how it blends and it suits my style a lot. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Also, I hit 2,000 subscribers. What? Thank you guys. But yeah, bye.